Okay, I'm working on the Ford E350. Need to remove the oil cooler. And what most YouTube channels that you look this thing up on, they never tell you how to actually remove it. They only were like, uh, just use a T whatever and uh, it'll take it right off. I'll show you real quick. It literally takes like five minutes tops to take this thing off. You're gonna use a T70. You're gonna pull off your oil filter and you're gonna go ahead and stick that in. That will be nice and snug inside there. And you're gonna turn it like you're taking off the oil filter. It's gonna go in the same direction and it will just simply unscrew. When you put the new one back on, you're gonna go the opposite direction, of course, like you're putting back a new oil filter. And you're just gonna go to hand tighten. What I did usually do is about 10 pounds of torque, that's it. Like once it hits, once it's snug, I just do one last turn and that's it. Since this uh, metal is so easily dented. Um, yeah, and then just hook up your hoses again. Save yourself the two to 300 bucks that mechanics are gonna charge you to take this off. It's real simple, you see inside there where it fits in, where it has a specialty tool. Yeah, you're just gonna stick that right in there. And it's a T70 that I used for mine. Yours might differ, but it's a T70 for mine and it just sticks right in and it came out simple. Yeah, and there you go.